What's going on, y'all? My name is Omari the Rebel. And I am the Big Pink Pegasus, futuristic as fuck today. And we <laughs> are Tribe Chat. Yes. The podcast show for Missouri Kabbalah where we make you think, we make you laugh, and we can make you come. Exactly. Yes. So this episode right about now, I wanted to bring on our special guest and a personal friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Actor. Adult film star legend Ariana Star Triple X, y'all. Woo! Hey, girl. Hey, what's going on? What's I, going on? How you doing, boo? You know what? You so rude. And her, and her beau, Naeem. <laughs> you didn't even. We. Uh, Pardon me, brother. Pardon him. <laughs> he done seen boobies and then lost his shit. Artist, comedian. <laughs> Brother Naeem, straight out the West Coast. That's it. From Sacramento, right? Exactly. All right. Six all day. Callie in the house was sore. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know what? I'm going to just have to show my beauty today because... Uh, yeah, I'm going to join you. <laughs> I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of futuristic, you know? Okay. All right. So... Okay. All right, so like how we do in the tradition of the show, how we begin the show, you know, in Zuri Kabila is actually Swahili. So how we begin all our shows is with Habari Ghani. One second. It's Swahili for beautiful <laughs> tribe. He ain't even finished the shit. But, okay, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Habari Ghani is also Swahili. If you're familiar with the term, if you're not familiar with the term, rather... That translates to what's the news. What's the news? So let's start. Let me jump right into it. Like Eden said, let me just jump right into it. Raw, no condom and shit. Mm. <laughs> Who can sense? Mm. All right. I like it. Since we right in the tri-state, we here in Manhattan. I know I cover Giuliani's sexual exploits. Mm. So we want to shout out to you, Giuliani. Hey. Not Rudy Giuliani. Caroline Giuliani. Carolina. Shout out to you. Yo, Giuliani. Caroline Giuliani actually came out. That's one thing that we've been talking about in the news she made headlines talking about her preference for threesomes mm. and being a sexual unicorn matter of fact according to yahoo news caroline giuliani said in quotes i had known for some time that i was <laughs> at least bisexual and said that threesomes were at the center of her personal venn diagram also, Yahoo News continues to report, while exploring polyamory and dating a couple, she mm. said that it started me on the path to identifying as pansexual, which means more precise than bisexuality. I'm attracted to people based on their presence. And plants. And energy, regardless. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that energy shit later. <laughs> regardless of their biological sex, gender, and gender identity. Giuliani said... Embracing herself has made her a better person, adding, I know that I am empathetic, radically open-minded, profoundly adventurous, sounds like that, mm. and fiercely committed to telling stories that reduce the stigma surrounding sexuality and mental health, including this one right now. Hmm. She sounds like she should have been her father's mother, because he definitely needs some <laughs> he definitely needs some opening up and some broadening of his horizon. Shh. Shit. Yo, I actually I'm so happy to hear that, man. Listen, when you're in our area, hey, Caroline Giuliani, come fuck with us. Come, come join fuck the with group. Us. <laughs> we would love to have you there. Hey, You'll man. fit right in. Exactly. Yo, so how do you identify Ariana sexually? I um identify as bisexual. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I love I love the ladies. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, so does Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I like who like me. How long have you been, how long have you identified as bisexual, Ariana? You know what? Even before I got into porn, I used to love the ladies. You know, I like started off in 19 stripping, basically. <laughs> and I was just so comfortable with taking my clothes off in front of women and just playing with titties and, you know, smacking ass and shit like that. I'm like, oh, shit. So I, like, had my real life along with a female when I was 19 years old. Wow. And she just so happened to be my roommate at the time. And I got over How convenient. <laughs> <laughs> How Yo, ain't nothing like that in-house right pussy. There. Might as well just eat it. Exactly, man. When if it looks good. When it's cold it. outside, when it's raining, it's right there. For real, who wants to travel? Exactly. <laughs> and you know, that's interesting because um, I consider myself a weakened bisexual. And I never, and I bloomed later on in life. I uh -huh. never um, 
honestly looked at women as sexual beings. I've always seen this as attractive. And I think that's just because I compartmentalize very, very well. Um, I could not wrap my mind around what I might find enjoy about, about being with another woman. Um, mm. Yeah. I, somebody, somebody woke my ass up. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, literally woke me up. <laughs> I was being accosted, child. Accosted? Uh, yes, I was being accosted by this couple. Oh, no, a not accosted. <laughs> <laughs> it was my ex and his wife. Oh, wow. Go okay, figure. Man. So, you know, um, I usually don't burn bridges, especially if there ain't no flicker of fire already there. Ain't no reason to. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So he and I stayed friends after, you know, we broke up. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not nowhere trying to. I, first of all little bit of history about Pegasus. I ain't never been nobody's side chick. And I'm too big of a secret to, to I'm, I'm too big to be anybody's secret. So that was never my right. thing. You know what I mean? Um, he initially came to me with it on some slick shit. And <laughs> bruh, I'm not with that. I'm, I'm so not with it. And if you ask me again, this friendship is null and void. So I guess him and the missus got together and said, well, and hey, you know how women do. How did he we do? Did he, to, did he try to, yo, let me just put the tip in, Pegasus. No, and that ain't what happened. He just said, he tried to have me come to where he said his wife was and, and, and get us into something. And, uh -huh. you know, if you know men, and, and I knew this one pretty well, he always has something up his fucking sleeve. So if your wife come and tell me this, then maybe I'll be with it. And I really wasn't with it because I automatically assumed he was lying. But mm -hmm. fast forward, they had a baby. And a um, baby. yeah, they had a baby. And now this 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 relationship between he and I and myself and her is now platonic. Well, mm -hmm. I go over this house to meet this baby that I don't like to this day. And they both know it. They don't have no problem with the fact. I don't like that little girl. She don't like me. It's probably because she know what I be doing to her father and her mother. <laughs> anyway, old girl comes downstairs like, listen, it's, it's six weeks. And I said, six okay, weeks. it's six weeks. She said, it's six weeks. And if all of us mothers know six weeks is the time like that you're allowed to have sex right after you had a baby. So, oh, 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 oh okay, it's six weeks. Okay, go on, do what y'all do. Well, child, they done went upstairs, put the baby down to me. Mind you, I don't like this little girl. I got her on the couch, and I'm on the couch, and I'm dozing in and out of consciousness. You see somebody come down the stairs. You see him go back up. <laughs> baby, I was getting into a good old dream. Unbeknownst to me, it wasn't a dream because I done felt hands on my thighs and nipples being rubbed and all type of stuff. Now, I know good and goddamn well I told this motherfucker I was not with this. Do you like this? Well, yeah, I do like it. So why well, stop it? And then the fucking monster was born. They done fucked me out of with the baby right there. But you know what? We be thinking we're, we're so, uh, you know, we ain't into that shit. People crazy. Yo, you know, <laughs> yo, speaking of oh, stories, yeah. speaking of stories real quick, you know what I mean? To wrap up Habari Ghani, I wanted to go to a story that I read on Huffington Post. So according to an article written by Ms. Brittany Wong, these are a few people who have gone a year without sex due to the coronavirus, mm. COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was reading a, a couple of these things. These, these things is real fucking dramatic. So Brett, a 30-year-old in Omaha said... I had sex last March 8th, 2020. I had a busy work week ahead. And to cut the stress, I found a random trade on Grinder, like any single gay guy on the go would do. Random trade. Yes. Wow. Yes. Sarah, a 50 year old living in France, said the last time I had sex was Why a little more than a year ago. Accent? What's fucking with the accent? <laughs> Did this nigga have a crepe or something? What we did last time we did. Go ahead, Fanny. The closest to French because my homeboy is Haitian. So it sounds like that to me. No, it does not. You don't sound Haitian. It does not say. sound Haitian. <laughs> no, it does not. I don't know what the fuck I sound right now. She says, I'm happily single woman. And my ex and I would regularly hook up. I had a other brief affairs, but he was, so to speak, regular. Probably because it was comfortable being with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who the hell? Regular? I don't like regular sex. And you know what's crazy? I don't like regular sex, but I love missionary. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Jay, I do. Jay, the 25-year-old living in North Carolina. Well, to be fair, 
It's been a little over two years since I've had sex, and I'm a lesbian, so sex is already already arguably a little harder to find, but the pandemic has, no, of the course... No, the fuck it's not. Exasper- ...exasperated that. Before COVID, I just hadn't really met anyone worth having sex with since my last hookup. And then, once the pandemic hit, I just stopped pursuing casual hookups and dating altogether. This is like a damn... This is a goddamn shame. I'm in the right line of business. <laughs> All y'all people, y'all need to definitely hit our link tree. Y'all need to follow us and get exactly. into our network in the community. So let's talk a little bit more about y'all. So Ariana Starr, since we're talking about sex, <laughs> mm. tell us about your career. How'd you get started in adult film, boo? Yes, that was... Uh- <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you know why Does he not know? Story, right? <laughs> so him and I dated when he was 19 years old yeah. I was not into, you know, porn He was like the third guy I ever slept with, right? And uh-huh. so moving on Like, he ended up running into one of my films Man While he was, you know what I'm saying With his girlfriend Which one? <laughs> you remember which one? <laughs> of course he remembers which one <laughs> of course Who's he the remembers star? which one okay, look, let, let, me, let, me, let me pen this whole thing out Okay, So me, I was in college in Sacramento And me and my son's mother we It was a weekend So we, you remember those those In the cable where you It's, it's like a porn package or what not you know <laughs> right, what right, right, Oh yeah, right. back like when you had the cable 9, box 99 For like four hours right? I don't know that shit, I didn't pay for my cable My nigga, we flipped the box upside down And had the zapper and shit <laughs> I don't know about that paying for cable shit, but go ahead well, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we bought this package one Friday night. I put my son to sleep or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we was, we was getting with it, right? And uh, uh, with the it. first porno, it was her. She was driving up, and, and I think it was like a Benz or something. And she opened the car door, and, and it focused on her feet all the way to the door, right? <laughs> and then she knocked on the door. And at this time, my, my girl was all up on me, and she was kissing me and stuff, and I'm just watching this shit. And she knocked on the door and the camera went to the other side of the door and the black dude got off the couch and walked to the door, opened the door and shit. And her face all smiling. I I literally pushed, mushed my girl like this. (laughs) And I'm like, hold on. She said, wait. She said, what, what? I'm like, wait. We can't watch this one. (laughs) Wow. My girl was like, why? I'm like, I I know her. So why we can't watch it? So your girl knows her? No, he yeah, said he know she, her. His girl wasn't freaky. No, you know, no, I mean, she, but she, she, she was like, what how you mean, know her? I'm like, nah, she was, that's like, that's my ex. And that's how I found out that she was actually a porn star. And then, and I, I started watching all her films and whatnot. And she was actually really good. <laughs> my like, word. Wow. Well, was she better than what I she mean, remembered? Is that what you're trying to say? She was, I mean, the acting part of me, like, I mean, I, mm, I, I'm the acting. Yo, I'm speaking of it. acting, that's something else I wanted to get on. Ariana, you do have an yeah. extensive acting background. Could you tell us, yo, how did you get on Sister Sister? Uh huh. Um, well, you know, when I was like 12 <laughs> years old, uh, living in California, then my mom, you know, just put me. Oh, into... you're from California? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, no. And, well, Born in She's from New York, man. What the fuck you talking about? There you go with that shit. Born in Jamaica, raised in Cali. Hey, boop, 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 boop. And then, you Two know what three. I'm saying, came to New York when I was like 25, and I'm 41 now. So Yay. you know how that is. Yeah. Shout out for the beautiful brown who don't have no problem with shouting out their own motherfucking age. I hear that, girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, we exactly. Yeah, because we was gonna do when you were turning forty. We were supposed to do the fortieth birthday celebration with you, but you know, COVID just hit and that put a damper on the plans as far as securing the venue and such. So, um, right, that's why I'm trying to do a do over when I come to the event on Saturday. Yes, yes. March twenty seventh, <laughs> Arch Madness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we're also going to have Respect the Blackout podcast coming through. Shout out yes. to them. Shout out to Simply Intimate Bliss for coming right. through and selling sex toys and lingerie. Oh, yeah. Also, um, you also were in, what's that, A Different World? A Different World. It's a like different baby world. Kids. Yeah, different, uh, yeah, Different World, Baby Kids, Sister, Sister, and then like one episode of Rock. You know, old school rock. Back yes, I love oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, so. Fuck it, how nigga yeah. wanted to be a garbage man and shit? 
Listen, it was realistic. He was he ain't the baddest garbage man on the face of the earth. Hey, garbage man make money. Yes. Do they ever? Yes. The ever. Department of Sanitation out here. That's that's you know that's. What I'm saying? They, they got the money. illest. They got the illest fragrant soap. They yeah. have to. <laughs> that should be. That shit is part of their medical insurance. <laughs> yes. Before we press on, you did mention Bebe's kids. So, yo, yeah. let's talk about that. Cause you were how old when you was in that movie? I was twelve. Wow. And yeah. look at you now. And mm-hmm. I know the whole rap and all that still to this day. <laughs> no, she don't. I have somebody coming up here that's probably going to sit in towards the end of the interview. We're going to have you spit your verse. We're going to have you spit your verse for somebody in the industry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, we we are. <laughs> yeah. See how you no, like them apples. <laughs> I can't rap to save my life. The person when I was twelve, the one person. Listen, was, half these know. motherfuckers out here with with million dollar <laughs> careers can't rap to save their life. Can't so you in good company, life, honey. Right? How old was yo? You was on the um track. It's it's technically it's a track with you and Tone Loke and Marquise Houston. No. Not Marquise. <laughs> yeah. Not Marquise. Don't say his name like that anymore. Did you hear this fool? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> she did a track. <laughs> he didn't sing no. Marcus didn't sing no. So technically, he was just in his I'm fucking saying? studio. Yeah. What was um? <laughs> what was working with um Tone Lo and and what was Marcus that like? I mean, Tone Lo, he was he was nice. He was helpful. You know what I'm saying? Like he he was real cool from what I remember. Marcus Houston, he was cool because we was around like the same age mm-hmm. and he was dumb shorter than me. So <laughs> even at 12, that nigga was still like right here. So That's because his neck was thing. so short. Damn. <laughs> you know, pop his and ass you know. up like a Pez, like pull that shit out. <laughs> Donald Faison was in there. Um... <laughs> Was it, was nah, it? he was he was he was cool though. You know, I didn't have no issues with That's nobody funny. doing it. You know, it's like I, I've never had no issues with anybody that I did anything with. So everyone was real cool. That's dope. That's 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 the dope. Uh, experience to have because everybody ain't able to say that. Would you be um, yeah. interested in them trying to? What if they try to do a remake? Or tr- I would be down for it though. Like I would be down. I've been seeing like baby kids too and some shit, but you know what I'm saying. You, you I don't know. I will you be see with how that. real it is. They, they going, they, they, they going to cast you for Bebe's babysitter, honey. Right. And that's going to be a different kind of film. <laughs> so moving forward, yes, speaking of that, you know, I wanted to talk about your relationship and uh-huh. we're going to talk a little bit more frank. Let's talk sex. So first off, yeah. I want to hear, how do y'all identify as uh, y'all are non-monogamous couple? Shout out to your titties, though, um, Ariana. They're looking fabulous today. Thank you, Mama. Mm-hmm. Thank you. But just for you, so I put yes, this pop honey. just for you. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes, well, that- you know what? Honestly, with him, he's just now being introduced, you know what I'm saying, to my lifestyle. So it's kind of mm-hmm. like being able to ease him in. So right now, I like you know, we're monogamous. He knows I like women. He doesn't mind if another woman comes to a bed. Men is a no, you know what I'm saying? Nice. <laughs> Don't get down like that. And we're just trying to work him into to to this like he doesn't he doesn't know. In in, in so, our world, he's like a squid. So, have so you had he, threesomes yet? So, of course. No, not yet. No, no? what? No. Y'all ain't take not down yet. no pussy I, together? I, I never, I never, I, I never had a threesome ever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'll, oh I'll my be, goodness. 40, that, is so, that is it's so that is so interesting. interesting. Me and Pegasus had a threesome. <laughs> I was the only person there. That's all you need for a threesome. <laughs> Cause I keep telling motherfuckers, when you this kind of fluffy, this shit it is a walking, this is a walking uh uh group sex. You could fuck right hey, here, hey, right, a little man. bit of lube right here. Listen, <laughs> if you give a nigga some navel, he ain't going nowhere. Little lube in the navel. Get a little, get stuff a little that's, side of neck. Okay. Listen, okay. A little, okay. A little eardrum. Like... Yo, here's something Please. I also want to ask. With, yo, Ariana, what um, bro, so with Ariana being in the adult film industry, so I know that porn is a part of your life. All right, does it ever get strange or such? Like, you ever look at a model that like Ariana knows or such like that? Does that ever get strange or weird? Like, if you it's like you got somebody on the screen, and it's like, oh yeah, I know Sydney Capri from from so and so. For for me or for him? For for either one. For either one of y'all. I don't. Me and Sydney, we talk all the time. I'm never weird with nobody. Like I'm, a, I'm a straight suitor. So therefore, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. You I know what I'm that. saying? Just like 
anything and any type of entertainment business, you got your fake ones, and I don't fuck with them. I'm not gonna talk bad on them. I'm just not gonna. You fuck just don't with fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? But there are some that I'm really, really. Naomi Banks is one of my mentors. Yes, you know love saying? her. So, yes. Yes, I love her. You know, that's that's a queen to me. And and she was the one that embraced me, especially being brown skin in that business. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And they don't even and like they don't even like our skin complexion in that business, right. regardless of anything. Oh, hell so yeah. to be able to, you know, hey, to be able to have someone embrace that and then the new the newbie who came along, which is uh Foxy. Mm -hmm. Um I think it's like if Foxy Locks, I think something like that. And she's um, brown skin as well. And she right. came up to me. She was like, you know what? There's no more dark skin women that's coming into the business. I'm trying to sit up here and wonder, like, where the fuck did they go? Right. Like, where Not they legitimized at? anyway, you know. <laughs> yeah. so, so let me ask this. Do you um, do you guys watch your porn and in, in, during your intimate sessions? And how is intimate that? Intimate sessions, you no, but fuck. just to watch it, yes. And how do you do? How do you, how does how does Naeem, um just from a woman's point of view? Because you know we sometimes, if you're gonna bring um, a vanilla into this lifestyle and you care uh -huh. about them, a lot of times uh -huh. they're not. When you introducing them to different things, you watch it for their reaction. So what do you mm -hmm. get from him? How is he? How is he? He is taking an it in. Freak. <laughs> he he's a he's an undercover freak because there's a lot of firsts that I am for him. And knowing oh. and how he reacts to it and he's not tripping about it. Like, we'll sit up here and watch my porn like it's a fucking movie. Like, right. It's nothing. So <laughs> it's just a matter of time before y'all full swap is what you saying. <laughs> well, yo, we, baby steps. Just a matter of time. Minute, baby man. steps, right. Hell yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> sometimes it takes a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you never know. You, you never, never know. know man. You know, I ain't pushing I'm, I'm and I ain't putting bro. nothing in the air. So, Ariana, you got <laughs> something even, coming up in October. Everybody that comes in, you know, ain't, ain't for this lifestyle. Right. You don't oh, know definitely. how to be able, you know what I'm saying? There's always a jealousy and envy Ooh. or something. You got to have rules even before you go yep. into any type Absolutely. of parties and type of situations. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, you know, I'm trying to break him in. He'll be get, broken in, you know, I that get night. It. We'll see. We gonna see. All right. I see. I even <laughs> like the idea that you're saying we'll see. You, it's not. You ain't give a solid no. That means you're no. a little bit pliable, and that's always yeah. a good thing. If you're too yeah. strong and too, you know, if you don't bend, you break. So right. listen. Here's something that I'm curious about because you're telling me that he's just now walking in. So Naeem, do you ever like? Is it on the table for Naeem to have other women sexually? It uh, right now <laughs> is it on the table is it a discussion is it permissible i mean you know i mean right now anything is on the table because you know what i mean i i have been i have been extremely reserved you know what i'm saying uh all my life or whatever so i mean i'm gonna really try i'm down to do try anything once especially you know what i'm saying because it, 20 years ago she was my first in a lot of stuff and i was has too she, awesome. she just forget to tell you all that but you know yeah, he's the first mm -hmm. one to make me squirt. Hey, uh, yeah. I mean, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying to live life to the fullest, so you know what I mean. But whatever it is, that's whatever, the name of the game. Yeah. If I'm uncomfortable with it, you know what I'm saying. I I I can I can put in like a cold word or something. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Hot apples. Uh, 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 fried chicken, a uh, uh, chicken sandwich or something. You know How about Q-tip? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean, but I mean, it's, it, it's whatever. You know what I mean. I'm just trying to live life and just see what see what it do. Because I'm peace. trying to get to know myself. You know what I'm saying, in, in, in all angles of life. So you know what I mean. And, and that's I think, what's I mean, up. Me, me being light skinned. You know what I'm saying. And 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 goddamn uh, Leo or whatnot. I, I think I am Oof. fucking freaky. So you know. Now you really just mentioned you were Leah. What's your zodiac, mm -hmm. um, Miss Ariana? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pisces all day. Just all had right. to that. Now I don't know. I don't know what the uh, what they say about Leo Pisces. So I can't. I ain't even got no words of wisdom. <laughs> Let, let's run no you through the test. Like, how freaky? Let's talk about it. Let's let's go through a few things. Like all right, number one. Do y'all eat ass? He do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I ate ass one time in my life, and she was the only ass I ate. Okay. 
And one time I like I was I was high as shit. I was 19 years old. That's I how it starts. It was smack. Yeah. You know, this you claim know, is I, ain't necessary. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was sipping and stuff. I was juicy mouthed that night. So right. I to, you so know, you had a little, you had a little, a little, you know, for a little brown cheerios. Toes, you know mm. what I'm saying? Toes, like, elbows, and assholes, huh? Toes, I try to get I, I try to wrap my head around it. I don't be understanding how that's a turn on. Like that's a part of sex. Like, listen. Toes? Yeah. Listen. Every, absolutely every nerve ending in your body is in your feet. Yeah. yeah honey. Yeah. Yeah. But they you have see, to know you how see to it, do you it see right you, you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I just <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Ariana Star, um, I asked you earlier. Can we ask her about what you got coming up in October? Ooh. Tell yes. Us. So for those who, you know, if you part of lifestyle, not part Ooh. of lifestyle, hedonism too. You know, we're going out there October, I believe, the 7th through the 12th yeah. in the Grill, Jamaica, hey. on a resort. It is all type of, you know what I'm saying? Hedonism. Thing. It's yeah. a hedonism. Yeah. The yeah, first time fucking. I went, I got naked as soon as I was able to. I hear so, that. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's how I like it. Naeem, you're going to be out there too, right, bro? Man, yeah. I'm working on my karate body right now, my boy. <laughs> exactly. Yo, we got to get rid of this corona panels shit. and shit. This my we karate got that body all the time. Hi -ya. I got that corona figure and shit. Like, I got to start doing push-ups and shit. I'm going to kill it. him. I'm going to kill him. I got the corona figure, too. This shit just look yeah, like... Yeah, we were all on Zoom and ordering DoorDash and shit, getting all fucking flabby and shit. I mean... That shit does not matter. If you seen half of the people that was walking around in hedonism... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is listen. coming from Ariana Star, though. She got a body right now. Exactly. No, I got quarantine body. That's what I got you right now. You know what? There. And that yeah. only means somebody want to stay in the house locked up with you, baby. Yeah, like, That's yo. all that <laughs> means. Yes. Somebody want to stay in there locked up with you, baby. Stay quarantined in her titties, man, That's for real. It. Like I can't, I can't escape them. That would be... Oh, Lord. Yeah, so look, so you're going to be out there at our event on March 27th, Arch Madness, right? Y'all right. coming out? Yes. 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 All right. yes. It's, going, it's going down like a fat girl falling. Yes. Listen, listen. It's going to be official <laughs> like a foot lock a whistle. <laughs> All right. Also, um, Ariana Star, moving forward. So you are still on OnlyFans right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So tell us I'm a little bit about your content. Fans. Well, you know what? When I first started OnlyFans, because I wasn't, you know, trying to shoot with nobody else unless it only had to do with just strictly females. Mm -hmm. After a while, you get tired of sitting up here dealing with dicks. I was tired of all the time. Every time I was working, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect. A lot of niggas was just going in, going too hard. And sometimes yeah. you don't have to do all of that. No. You know what I'm saying? So... It, yeah, I extra. just I was cool. <laughs> like I needed a break from the dick for a while. So when I first started it, that's when I did OnlyFans, and this is how I got him into it. And I'm like, you know, let me let me suck your dick on camera. Let me hey. see what that looks like. I was just about to ask. Yes, and then yeah. sucking dick on camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gave him his first hand job on camera. Yeah. Fucking on camera. Yeah. I, I, I think I can do this poor shit though. I think I can do this. <laughs> Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I just I just gotta get a few poundage, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a, <laughs> no, listen, I I we're a body, we we're a body uh, we're a body positive group. And let me tell you something. Yes. It's somebody for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's somebody Thank who wanna you. see a little uh, bird chest man with with, with <laughs> continuously hard was, nipples tan some ass up. Somebody want to see that. That shit don't matter, girl. You no, it dick. don't. That shit don't matter. Listen, somebody want to see somebody with a seven pack. An uneven right. amount of, an uneven number amount of abs, busting ass. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is why I love swinging. I really do because yeah. you run into some hitters that you just would not have imagined with their clothes right. on. It's that, it's yeah. that, uh, that hedge fund guy sitting across from you on a train. You know yep. what I mean? It's grandma who's selling empanadas at the fucking bodega, you yep. know, on, on Sunday yep. morning. It's her who will suck the soul out of your dick and and, 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 and yep. make your balls look like a deflated balloon. It's, it's, <laughs> it's them, you know? Yes. Yo, yes. moving on a, um, on a more serious topic, because we talk about the adult film industry. You know, as a black lifestyle collective, we try to provide entertainment, education, comedy for black people in the lifestyle. One thing that we talked about on Instagram Live, is about how the AVN was lacking in diversity as far as 
recognizing mm. talent, I believe you should have been certified a long time ago because it just seems like there's a curb. I mean, to go in mainstream Hollywood and to perform on a level when it's adult film should be noteworthy. What do you think? How do you think people are? How do you think we are in the adult film industry as far as representation now versus then? Is it better than it was before or is it about the same? No. What do you think? Now it's worse. Oh, I, wow. I honestly believe it's worse when it comes to AVN. That's why we don't, as far as if you want to sit up here and be well known, because a lot of times for a lot of the actors that's in the business to be well known, of course, you got to go through some of the white companies. You have to be able to deal exactly. with AVN. So of course, if you count your dollars, you have to go that route. But mm -hmm. they never sit up here and, and, and paid homage to anybody. Even some of the legends that I looked up to, mm -hmm. Jada Fire, who never won right. really an ABN award. You know what I'm saying? By herself. If it was like in a group or something like that, that's right. never been a mentioned. thing. I've gone to plenty of conventions to where, you know, fans are like, where are the black girls at? Right. <laughs> you know and Janet exactly. Daphne's. So, we don't even deal with them. We deal with the Black Awards. You know what I'm saying? The, the X Urban Awards. X Awards. Yes, the, uh, who's sitting up here by Alexander DeVoe. Yeah, you got to say names because, but a lot of times, they're not people don't know. And Gianna who these, Taylor. Who she these was, folks are. Gianna Taylor was um. She got her start on a show called yes. For the Love of Ray J. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yep, yeah. still. She was still in the flavor of love, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. Or maybe I think and it, it might have been for the they, love. It might. It may have been um, flavor of love. love. Let me, let me, let me, let me find out. Love. Ray J is the porn uh, uh, casting couch. Was it Ray J? On the love. No, it wasn't Ray J, too, huh? I mean, it was one of them flavors. I don't know. What you mean, let me find <laughs> out? You never heard of a song called I Hit It First? I did hear that song. Did you see the video? <laughs> I, what is it about? You don't know? Like I said, let me I hate it, I down. hate it, I hate it, I hate it first. Yes. So for our culture, Urban X Awards, which I don't even know if they're doing it this year or not, because you know the COVID and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm every so time they're always, always giving homage to us, every type of nationality whatsoever, and being able to sit up here and represent us in such a way that is so beautiful. They came such a long way. So if anything, Urban X Awards, make sure you know that's something to definitely check they, to check them out because they don't even charge us a lot even to come out there. Mm. ABN charges even if you have not been nominated to sit in the crowd is five hundred to a thousand dollars a ticket. That is ridiculous. Wow. After everything that you but put if you put in work and you're contributing yet in the show, how the hell are you gonna be like, Yeah, we want you here, but it's about a thousand? Like, goddamn, niggas is finesse. That don't matter. <clears throat> it, it don't matter. It's kind of like um, based off of you know who you know, that's that's what that is. Speaking you know of speaking of COVID, let me ask you this though: You've been on OnlyFans for a while. Has mm -hmm. COVID affected your, your revenue viewership. stream? Mm -hmm. How's it affected your Hell revenue yeah. stream? More people? Has it has it went up or down? Or it's went up because shit ain't ah. nobody else got nothing to do but to sit up there and watch. You know and look exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what else you can't sit up and do but go on, on, on there. So it definitely is went up for me, you know, so I, I enjoy it. Me. I, I may not have sit up there and, and hit like some of the white girls and made a million dollars off that shit, I think, because I already got naked. But, right. you know, it pays bills, honey. I hear that. <laughs> You know, speaking of COVID, I really have a whole problem with this shit. I want AIDS to come and fuck COVID in the ass oh on the God. side of a why in COVID's ass? Because COVID is is the new is the is the new pain in the ass. COVID is AIDS. AIDS used to be the bully from She's back in the day. She's pegging She's pegging so, something. Exactly. Pegging, Everything gets pegging it in coronavirus the ass. and shit Everything like that. Everything gets it in the ass. Fucking AIDS should come and fuck. I was about to say fuck Pegasus in the ass, and no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should not. No, Yo, we I need to come out with a series. In the ad. Be on the lookout for our new documentary called The Sodomy of Pegasus, y'all. No. Uh, listen, hey. sodomy is just non-vaginal sex. It's, it's good. We can so sodomize me. Pegging. We just ain't doing nothing in my Do you ass. have anything? No so what are you what are you what are your views on anal? Both of y'all. Do y'all practice anal sex? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I am so amazed at all of this. Nah. I'm no, amazed I that you don't. I personally don't like it. I tried it one time. He had a horse dick and I ran. <laughs> right. I'm good. Not my thing. Now I'll fuck a dude in the ass quick. You know what I'm saying? Well. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Not not you, baby. But somebody else. <laughs> look at him. Look you know at him. He saying? had to look over there like, uh, 
I'm going to look at you no. slow. <laughs> We're talking about fans, you know, my, 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 right, my right, right. from Caucasus. I got you. You know. So you still actively, are you, Um, you have like dominatrix clients? You have subs? Yes, I do. Oh. You know. How does I, I want to record this shit though? I want to like like when she have like white dudes or whatever. I want to record it. You can't. You know what I'm saying why she fucking him in the ass? I want him to like scream Black Lives Matter. And, 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 <laughs> I see some shit like that. Wait a minute, this is, is not shit. Players like, like, Club. Like, for real, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And just put, put, put pacifiers in his mouth and just just fuck with him. Right. Yeah, but it, he yeah, would like that. But I did. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I have a few. Um, I have a few. Um sub clients and it's crazy that um it's crazy how they live a uh, separate of like like double lives because yes. usually men that want to get dominated the the illest kind of ways they are, are so powerful yep. you know yep. what i mean and I, I i'll divulge a little secret i got four sub clients and they all hasidic jews Mm, I believe. Go figure. Right. And they want they want all kinds of stuff. They want to confess all of their sins. They want to tell yep. you about yeah. It, it gets deep. Yeah. It gets deep. Yeah. This is I want to get I want to get credentials for this shit. This is therapy. <laughs> so let me ask y'all. Since we nearly um since we nearly about to wrap up real quick. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you is, Ariana, is there anything all right together? Is there anything on the sexual bucket list that y'all want to do together? Is, yeah. is this something that you guys really like? Or we got to try that? Or is some fetishes or some kinks that y'all really feel like y'all want to get into? I mean, well, if you already heard him say he hasn't done a threesome, so that's that's definitely on you are his so patient, bucket girl. list for us to be able to do. You know, and I'm, I'm I gotta bring out his 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 freaky side. We don't know. I have different wigs. You know, we try on, might do some role playing or something like that. You know, I, I don't know. Everything else, I'm pretty much I'm the best dick sucker he's had. So, hey, you know, hey, I, I heard that. that. Yeah, one. I saw it too. For real, <laughs> I heard that. That is very interesting that you have um that 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 you have such a. Uh, a vanilla guy. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. So vanilla. Um, before we vanilla. before we get ready to um before we get ready to go, before we get ready to wrap it up, um let us know your information, Ariana Star, how they can find your OnlyFans and how they can find your social media platforms. Well, of course, you know, if you go OnlyFans is Ariana Star one. All of my social platforms is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's all Ariana Star. We either with the one on the end or just Ariana Star, period. You just pull up Ariana Star, A R Y A N A S T A R R. Say R's. that. You know what I'm saying? And everything that I'm doing just is automatically, you know, uh, come up. So. All right. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Let me um kick it with you for a minute. How I met Ariana Star. Ha, ha, ha. Listen, uh, uh, uh. and um, 2010, I was on a show called, what was the name of the show again? Ariana? Uh, it was Out of the Box that. Radio. Okay. All right. So I was on a show called Out of the Box Radio. Mm -hmm. The radio station was in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. So there was a friend of mine. I'm still cool with him. He's from Jersey. His name is Ralph. He worked in the adult film industry. The platform was urban and giving a light to adult film performance. This episode, Ariana Star was supposed to show up, right? Mm -hmm. And let me let me keep it all the way 100 since this is like 10 years ago. And the, <laughs> this is how the this is like the start of us getting on the right page. Actually, at the time, I was having a um disagreement with one of the hosts of Out of the Box Radio. I ended up leaving the show the episode before this. So I came on that show to actually resolve it. Ariana Star was also supposed to be on the same show. So we were supposed to be there the same day. Ariana didn't show up at the time, and they got pissed. Ariana, I believe you was in what City Island and shit. Like you was in. I a... don't know where the fuck I was at. I don't know. She. How long ago was <laughs> that talking... shit? This is 2011. Right. 2011. 11 years ago. You know what I was doing in 2011? Ten years. <laughs> Inebriated, high, ah. We want like me now. So I wanted to <laughs> to hang out for a little bit. I have a friend of mine who should be on their way here. Is he on the way?
Uh, actually, he should be walking in now. Yep, he's okay. walking in now. Uh, a special friend of mine. So before we go, I remember we were talking about Bebe's kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so what was the name of your character again? LaShawn. 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 Yeah. Yes, LaShawn <laughs> was from Cali. Yeah, and um, y'all had a, they had a segment where they was in, what is it, an amusement park? Mm -hmm. And then the little white kid mm -hmm. walked up and he was like, can we be Bebe's kids? <laughs> yeah, with, girl with the glasses. Yes. Uh, Marquise Houston was like, yo, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marquise Houston. Marquise. Marquise Houston. <laughs> my bad, uh, my bad. Go ahead. He was like, nah, what? y'all can hang with us for a minute. And then they go uh, into the, they go into the, to the rap. They go into the song mm -hmm. with this brother. <laughs> also, Tone Loke and yep. yours truly. So you had bars, right? Did you write your verse? Nah, I didn't write my verse at 12. Nah. It's 12 <laughs> years that write verses? No. I Have was you ever met a girl named like Lefe? Say, uh -uh. Don't ask. <laughs> nah, why you want me to spit some bars? Yeah, I spit know. some bars. No, those bars. I'm for some bars. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Wait, wait, go ahead. Oh, wait, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a shine. No, not Latifah demanding the mic. Just like Aretha. Cute little girl, but I fight like a man. I even make Iron Mike tight say dance. LaShawn, Khalil, MP, we won't R E S P E C T. Never slipping, a slide, <laughs> no magic, a slagging. Baby's kids. Straight jacking. Jack. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Straight jacking. I'm done. I'm so done. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that one. <laughs> uh, you done. And I was jamming over here. <laughs> Uh -oh. But, the, but the, fun, the funniest thing is when, when it's actually on TV and she's actually doing, doing it together it as, as I'm mm. hearing it. That's crazy. Name you a name you an artist, right? Uh, no, uh, uh, I, I, I'm a producer somewhat, but but I, I'm mainly focused on on stand up comedy right now. Stand up comedy. How yes. long you been doing comedy? About like six and a half years. Mm. Six and a half years. You funny? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, the nigga eyebrow. Of course so. he's funny. Like, I would think so, you know, but you know, I, 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 yes, I I'm funny. I've been funny all my life, but you know, when it comes he to business, funny, you know what I'm saying? I mean, for doing this, doing this consecutive for six and a half years, I mean, I think so. You know what I mean? I, I can make anybody laugh. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what are your aspirations? Where do you plan to take your comedy? Do you ever feel like you could blend what you do artistically with your comedy? Yeah, I mean, I, I see my comedy going into to radio, acting, uh, uh, and ambassador shits. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the sky's the limit. You know I mean, it's for, for everything. I mean, you do, I, I mean, I mean, I'm 41, almost uh, 40, almost 41. But you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 brand new. I'm an infant in the comedy game. So even even right now. So I mean, I I have no limits of no no nothing. You know what I'm saying? When, when right. I when I hit that stage, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fucking beast, dead ass. So. So you Naeem, know, tell them where they can find you at before we get out of here. Uh, 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 YouTube, comedian Naeem Elliott on YouTube. You know I have all my videos up there, but not uh, uh, Facebook is Naeem Elliott. Uh, N A, the, the A is two dots over the A, make it an R sound. Uh, Naeem Elliott. Speaking of African names, you yes, know. it is Swahili. Naeem Bomani means benevolent warrior in Swahili. Yes. Yeah, I was about then, to ask um, that. So. In Swahili, you hear that? Swahili. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Omari is yeah. actually Swahili. It's Swahili for handsome. I didn't come up with that shit. <laughs> Somebody should have renamed you. Anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to get out of here. Ariana, it was awesome talking to you. We'll see you Me and too. Naeem the 27th of this month for yes. Arch Madness. It was beautiful yeah. meeting you, Naeem. Mine. Yes. yes, and I'm looking forward Beautiful. to meeting both of y'all in person, man. It's going to be a lot of yeah, fun. Of course. Yes. About time. It's going to <laughs> happen. You know what I'm saying? New York. Let's yes. I'll see y'all soon. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you for showing up today, girl. 
One second. And Wait one second. And these two, you know, all day. What? Yes. Hold on. Woo. Before you go, before you go, mm. hold on. My guest should be walking in real quick. Okay. <laughs> Short minutes, man. Um, I wanted to bring well, you well, on. How long, how long does the show go for? Oh, we're going to... um. We're going to be here for, for hour. probably about, uh, we usually do this for an hour. We're probably going to sit with you for about 10 minutes uh, real quick. No, nah, make it 20. What, what are we talking about? So, uh, Is there a time limit on this? Yeah. yeah. We're about to, yeah. About, <laughs> okay, so let, me, so let me tell you. I agreed to do this today, right? But I didn't realize that I had gun training on the same day. Gun training? Yeah, man, yo, bro, we gotta. This is not a game out no, it's here. Not. Scoop is a shooter. I'm, I'm not a shoot. I'm, I'm learning gun, to be. I'm learning be. to be a shooter. I, I've had. I had. I had. I had a gun permit when I was here. When I lived here in New York City, and um, mm. but I never. You know, I had the gun in the house and everything or whatever, but I never knew how to really handle it. Mm. So with with everything that's happening in the world, I made more of a conscious decision to practice. See, because this is this is nigger shooting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this, Turning this, your this gun shit, sideways. Yeah. This, this is just nigger shooting. Right. You, that will get you killed or mm -hmm. kill someone. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. when these dudes when these dudes that you see practice tactically, these white cats and they out mm -hmm. in this, yeah. they, they shooting at you. Yeah, they hitting you, shit. and that shit is hitting you in your face, and that's it. With that's the double it. tap they and not, all they that. They're not, they not, they're, they're not no wasting ammo. no ammo on you. Mm -hmm. So you know it's none of this. You know, how you know people shoot and and. You and shooting like this, nobody, nobody even gets shot. You right next to the person. When those people point <laughs> and aim at you, that's your life. So, with the advent of the way that things are politically and us not knowing where we were going, mm -hmm. I just was like, I just thought that it was better for me to learn how to really do this. Because if it ever comes down, what we learned through this pandemic is that shit can go crazy in like two seconds. Yeah, man. For now, real. Now, now, I'm in the capital and shit. But see, here's the it's bigger than storm in the capital. Huh. We got we got lucky with this one. Mm -hmm. It could have been all out chaos. One or two more things happening, the, them not handling the money. Just just cut my phone off, man. <laughs> just cut it off. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Whoever I'll deal with them later. Um, with with if let's just say that the the re, the banking system would have really fell out. Yeah. Let's say the ass of the banking system would have really fell out. Some people I, crazy I, 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 I knew people. I know people who are legitimate hardcore economists that told me the whole system was going to fall down. They were like, "Yo, inflation is going to go crazy. Buy food now. Buy all of this now. Do mm -hmm. this and buy toilet paper." But mm. I, I never I still don't understand this. No, listen, I never <laughs> understood the toilet. The toilet paper is stupidity. <laughs> like, like anybody that was racking up on Charmin and shit. Yeah, but what do you need that for? If you got a shower pick, you can wash your ass in the shower. <laughs> but here's the thing. To, 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 to understand that people would be as stupid as to buy toilet paper. You need canned goods to survive. Exactly. You need water to survive. You need to wipe your ass to survive. You can have a smelly ass. <laughs> well. But you, you won't you, you won't that. right, but you won't survive. So, you know, it was that and just looking at everything and looking at all the conspiracy theories and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about it is that a conspiracy theory is not a conspiracy theory when shit actually starts happening. Right. Exactly. So that's cool, right? Yeah. There are things that have happened that I see and I'm like, oh, shit, wow, they doing this, they doing this, they doing this. But then there's shit that they said was going to happen that didn't happen. So... Moving forward, I just have I'm, I'm in a place where I'm like, look, prepare for the unexpected. I'm a man who made five figures a month, every month for 26 years. Talk that shit. Like, like I, I worked, I worked, I worked. People thought, oh, well, where's Fat Man Scoop? Fat Man Scoop worked, tw worked 49 weeks of the year for 26 years straight. I have an office in London, so my business is in London. My entire business is in London. Right. Um, he can tell you because he knows my my family. I I come in, I come home, I leave on a Thursday to go to London. I do gigs in Europe, and then I come back on Sunday. And I live here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I fly on a Thursday night flight, eight, seven, eight, nine, or ten. 
get get to London in the morning, do my shit, school to Friday night. So, so let me ask you, since um when we press for time, and, and how does back. how does um like I right, so how did COVID... are we seriously press for time? <laughs> yeah. Well, so what happens if we run over? What happens if we run over shit? They may give me the boot in the ass and kick well, me well, the well, fuck well, out. Are you on a time frame with these people? A little bit. How long? <laughs> Give me 20, bro. Just give me 20. Come on, we family. Give me 25. 20, 25. All right, good, good. All right. All right, so listen. Um, <laughs> so, so his father, his dad, his dad, I've known his dad for almost 15 years. His dad is the super of the building that I lived in growing up. I lived there for- You Ed was telling yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So his father is like a family friend to us. Mm -hmm. His father was there for the last years of my mother and my father's life. And he held, his father held my family down. Shout out to him. So I'm going to always have love for whatever I need to do for his family. I'm there. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't have to ask me for nothing. So please, I'm asking you. Go ahead, go ahead bro. All right. So um, one of the things that we talked about is we talked about how. Oh, shout to Maximo. Shout to Maximo. <laughs> yes. We was, talking about, we was talking a little bit about, because uh, you know, this is a lifestyle podcast. One of the things yeah. we talk about is sex here. So yeah, well, go on, man, bring how does your, how's your sex life been affected with, um. During Us COVID. During, during quarantine. Quarantine. In, see, I don't want to get jammed up. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get jammed. Ain't trying to catch. No, you no, up. no, no, no. <laughs> we'll have that discussion when the cameras are off. Okay. All right, all right, because, all right. because that's it's a different kind of discussion, but it it, it it did get cut down bad. It did get cut down. It did get cut down. Oh yeah, because everybody was home, so the kids was all around well, and well, shit. Well, you can't get you alone. Know, at, at the time, at the time, I, my girlfriend was in Dallas, and I was in New York. Oh no, traveling. No traveling. Um, but for me, man, I was never scared of this shit. You know, for me, holla. Uh, um, um, the first couple of months of the pandemic, I lost like fifty pounds because I'm on that Doctor Sabi shit. Oh, you Heavy. up? I, I, yeah, but I, but I, but and, and you know I, I, I listen. I I had a fucking slush coming here. I had a slush with sugar in it coming here. But the majority of my diet, even today, is eighty five percent fruits and vegetables, and fifteen percent bullshit. I feel you. But but so I try to and you know I drink I eat Seamoss every day. I you know I, I do at least two juices a day. I eat fruits and vegetables, and now I do some stupid like eat a pizza from time to time. Yeah. So I never really approached it like that. Plus I had COVID in in 2019 in December because uh, really? I was in China. Mm. Oh, so December recover? December 13th, I'm here. Yeah. Well, December need to understand Dece that December this ain't nothing new. Did you so, get vaccinated? No, I'm not. I'm you getting shit. vaccinated? Shit. Um, are y'all vaccinated? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that man is probably going to do a <laughs> uh, uh, you could do a pussy vaccination, yeah. but, uh, that, that kind yeah. of vaccination. Uh, so, I, when I was out in um China, I was out in China December 9th of 2019 from from December 9th to like December 8th to like December 11th. I was in Shanghai, Singapore and Hong Kong and Macau. Macau is like the Las Vegas of China. Mm -hmm. So I was going uh, because I, I, I got to China and they brought me over from Hong Kong to Macau on the in the cab. But I didn't realize that going back, you can't get a cab because it's like going from two different countries. You have to have a special cab. So it's like, even though it's like Manhattan to the Bro Manhattan to the Bronx, mm -hmm. going over the Harlem Bridge, it's still two different countries. It's going. It's so you need like a passport. It's typical, no, no. It's like you, have, you need a permit. It's like going from Portugal because Macau is owned by Portugal right. to China. Right. Anyway, I had to do that. I, I had to go and take a bus then trains, and then run in the airport to get there. Somewhere along that line, I got I got COVID. When I got home, I celebrated Christmas, and then right after Christmas, I got, the day after Christmas, I got sick until New Year's Eve. Mm. Very sick. Like, sick like I had never been before. And I somehow I got the strength to drive to Charlotte, North Carolina to do my New Year's Eve gig. I went on and I flew to Dubai, Bahrain, uh, Qatar, and I did a Middle East tour and I came back, I kept coughing. I was coughing from January 1st until like, uh, um, like Valentine's Day. It's <coughs> like the whole month. A month and some change. Yeah, yeah. I had to go get um, things, they said, yo, you got bronchitis, that's bullshit. And then mm -hmm. they found out it was COVID. Wow. <laughs> Yo, uh -huh. was you able to stay safe the um, whole time during the pandemic, Ariana? Yeah, yeah. I honestly believe I had COVID Me way too. before 
like early, early before they yeah. even sit up here and told us about it because I had a call for like four months. Yeah, so and they, they never sit up here and tell me what that was. You, didn't, you know, but no one yeah. knew what it was. No, no one knew what it was. Then, now let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 is is that your what is that man to you next mm. to you? What is, oh, this is Naeem. This is, uh, let her uh, let her answer. This is what, what, this is this is my love. This is my love. All right. Naeem. So how is it, sir? Uh, sir, mm. uh, walk me through how you can uh, watch her do that on camera and then and then come on home and and I can't do it, sir. I I, I, I don't know, sir. Walk, walk me through that, sir. Can can you walk well, me first through? before he answer? This we're talking about me being on camera. 10 years ago. Oh, this is not now. This is old stuff? Yeah. yeah. This is old stuff. So I was watching vintage... Uh, uh -huh. I, what, but it looked like it was yesterday. I, I mean, you think... Her body gets better with age. You know, I saw it. I said, well... I, I saw it on our ex... Well, what did I go to? Our ex videos? Yeah. The new yeah. shit is probably him. They shooting yeah. together. Oh, y'all was shooting... So you tearing no. it up and getting paid for that. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, no, 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 all right, all right. Nice. <laughs> what percentage are you? Do you know what percentage you are on OnlyFans? Like, what, what? are you in the top 1% or are you in the top 10%? No, I'm like in the top 8%. So, so, so how, how, much, how much do you make on OnlyFans? Because I haven't really been going hard on it, like, I might bring in like 10 to 12 a month. So Jesus, yeah. shit, you shit, well, shit. That, <laughs> well, that's I mean, that's money a, to that, be that's fucking a, your partner. That's a uh, yeah, that's a that's a lot of money. Shit, that's to good money to fuck your partner. Anyway. And shit, you're gonna do anyway. Right. It's just and let and let other people masturbate to right. it. It's a, it's a yeah, great you thing. need to have a little session to teach everybody how they can get their shit up in almost twenty seven. <laughs> how they can get their OnlyFans right. Let me just address school. <laughs> He just said, he asked Naeem, how is he able to do it? And went into this whole thing of, I can't do it. I couldn't do You have to understand what swinging is. We're not even talking about uh, So, anymore. So walk me through. Walk me through. I'm going to walk you through swinging with a partner. What swinging is with you and your partner is a group sport. Well, it's a sport between you and your it's, you and your partner. It's a sport no, of dicks. It's a, it's a sport, it's a sport of, dicks. of sex. And pussy too. Because it's it, you know it's <laughs> not just dicks. dicks. There it depends on you know mm -hmm. what what allowances you and your partner right. you know. Yeah. Well, right, listen, I'm not going to slip on a banana peel and wind up on somebody's <laughs> dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, it's what I'm what I'm going to do. Your girl might. Yeah. Your girl might. And I find that the way to get past the. The ownership of that is to look at them as a partner. Now, if this is your partner and your teammate, then you want them to excel. You want them to do good, and you want. But them. I, don't, I don't want them to excel on somebody else's dick. I, I, I don't <laughs> know if I want somebody else's dick. Cause okay, but wait, 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 hold on. It's so, like watching porn in three D. So, 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 but, but, but here's the thing. Reality. All right, but hold on, listen. What if the man is killing her in a way that I didn't kill her? And that's, then, all, that's all right. Then he, he might can tell you something. Here's it, but he no, might no, 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 show no, you how you can step your game up. No, 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 no. Because the next thing is somebody's making a phone call no, late. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're swinging, this is already a prerequisite. So this is not the place where you and your partner bond from. This is just a sport. Your lovemaking with your significant other is very different, vastly different from what you do at, at, an, at an event. Yeah, but see, okay, okay. Say okay, so this it, 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 it can work both ways. Say say, I'm I'm killing it, and and I'm now now I'm now I'm, now I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying now that's right, shit. Okay, right, right, right. that's some other that she put she gave me head till I was in a coma. What happens? What what happens <laughs> when I go back to my girlfriend that don't give me head till I'm in a coma? Well, then you just remember that good time you had. You don't want no, no, to but then I, I, I want to go back. No, you over don't. There. You don't want <laughs> we have a couple here. Like you don't want that all the time. Listen, just because fried chicken is your favorite meal, sometimes you, you want some time. fucking quiche. That and fried sick. chicken don't get mad because you had quiche. Because you're going to go no, back you, to the you, you got to be mentally here. You, you've you got to have the mind of a pimp. Okay, that, you're a pimp. Not <laughs> this a real pimp. A pimp. A mind of, the mind of a person. Not person. Not, so listen, sex not is normal. You know right, what I'm saying? Wait, 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 you're not just attracted to one person, being no matter what it is, right, no matter how right, good chicken right. is, you don't want to eat that shit every night. Right, so right. I, I, that's the, what I said. Once you I, get the clarity and understanding that, yo, listen, I'm attracted to other people. Like me too. All right, yeah. So we're gonna set some rules. So, so, so here's the thing. Do you guys swing together? 
We're we not a couple. couple. We're, that's that's, my, that's my wife over there. With a home on that. With a home on that. Home on that. With a home on that. This is some. This is some whole other shit. Oh fuck y'all. Um, <laughs> Let the mic hear you. Let the mic hear. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you have to walk me through. Yes. Did, did, do you do this too? Yes, we all having group sex, man. We all having orgies, school. We even had a threesome, the three of us. We've had. With a home on now. Oh, that was actually one of my favorite nights. With a with a with a with a horn. Y'all, the three of y'all were fucking. Yes. Yeah. Well, where where was I? (laughs) (laughs) This isn't. This was in um, London. This was in East Flatbush too. Yes, we was, um, I remember, because, uh... Well, how did this shit happen? It how was after shit a sex party. We went to a sex so we party. So went to a sex party. And then we went to... We went you have a Viagra we IV? Nah, no. B, they, they're going to give you all the motive. They're going to give you all the motivation, man. When you have both of these ladies in bed with you naked... Okay, wait a minute. Hold on now, now, now. Hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took a nap too. There was a time where niggas laid down. I, there was a little bit of sleep in Refract- between. Refractory. Sir. Yes, yes. So she laid down. We all. We, we okay. Uh, so so walk me through. They just get up and they just say, "Fuck this. We gonna do this now." Or, or do we make a date for this? Like, how does this work? We was already in the bed naked. We were. Well, how this worked? But what, how did you get in there? You just. I'm, show- I'm about to tell you. <laughs> all right. With a horn. We went to. We all went to an event. We all went to a swingers party and. um I, at the time, lived in New Jersey, but the, the party was in New York. What, four or five o'clock in the morning? Not going back to Jersey now. So wherever they're going, you know, they got a b and I'm going to stay over there. I am an insatiable, yeah, I'm, I'm an insatiable individual. Only thing it needs to be is the right vibe and the right connection. Okay, so then how long does this have to last? Doesn't have to because last. Because those that are amateurs in the, you know, I'm... Fucking with y'all, I'm an amateur in the dick game, okay? Because this is you fucking. <laughs> we can make listen, no, 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 listen, listen. I did my record industry shit, so I've done my threesomes and foursomes and all kinds of sums and it's shit. Well, we'll and and I did that. I did that in my early days, but I'm not doing it professionally. So, so, I mean, listen. <laughs> Tell us about a professional threesome, Mario. No, no, listen, no. But here's, here's the thing: you, your stamina and all of that has to be longer. Look. I'm going to fuck you for for, thir- for 15 minutes and then I'm going to give you the best 20 minutes that I got at the time and and then I'm I got other shit to do. I got to go work on my a remix. I can't be doing this shit. Well, then, How's this 20, 20 minutes worth of dick, Ariana? Lot, you a lot time for this. And I'm going to just say this. There are a lot of <laughs> men who really feel like that they don't have the stamina for this. When you're dealing with somebody like me, free plug for me, when you're dealing with somebody like me, I tend to control the energy. I tend to... Um, Pull up your libido and slow it down. Do you, what you, it you, is I need. You know, but there you know, is so, niggas at the event sometimes. I'd be like, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting ready. Hold on. Yeah. That shit happens all the time, though. Yes. I got to come back and really talk about this. I got to really <laughs> sit here. We all definitely would love to have all right, all right, all right. So, so, so here's the thing. I was going to do swinging years ago. I was in a situation where I was going to be with two women. Okay. The only, re- only thing that stopped me was that I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't sell that to my kids. They were young. Mm-hmm. So how are we going to go to the family reunion and there's two mommies? It wasn't working. My family is not like that. They're very conservative people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, it, it didn't work. I, I was thinking about doing swinging shit, but then when I got popular, I said, like, I'm not fucking with that because I don't want my name out there. Like you know that. what? That brings But I to- wanted to try it one time, but I never tried it. But I, 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 think, it's, I think I'm past that. You'll you get the... Sell. When you get the support network and such, trying to help. fucking sell Ariana, me Ariana, let me ask you this. You know, he's been trying to sell me on this shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Fuck this what, man. What a I'm sure. Fuck okay. <laughs> How do you... Listen, does your family know about your life being an adult film... Entertainer, and if you Absolutely if they do know, not. so how how was you able to come I, clean and tell them? My family is conservative as well too. So I your mean, family but, does not know mm-mm. how you. No, no, no. Now somebody's been on X Hamster, okay? <laughs> now, somebody's been on fucking X Hamster now. Don't see. Here's the thing. Don't 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 get it fucked up. Everybody watch <laughs> porno. Yes, they do. Everybody, yes. everybody with the do. exception of Jesus, watch porno. No, and he loved porn stars. Well, you were like Mary Magdalene, Magdalene was a sex worker. Some shit now, exactly. Wait a minute. But let me say like this: the key people who I don't want to know, which is my parents, 
they don't they don't know they will never find out and and that's mm. just what it is my brothers you know what i'm saying anybody else i can give a fuck about they do know gay friends know whatever i just i don't care because at the end of the day i'm 41 i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want to do hey. you work how, a, you know. a nine to five do you have any concern that what you do in your adult film past or currently will only fans will interfere with what you do on your regular job Yes, because what I do on my regular job helps women who have already been in that industry. So therefore, by me sitting up there coming to them and nice. helping them, it coincides. All right, with your job is your job is you. Your nine to five has to, to do with like this. My thing is this: you're making ten k a month. What the fuck you need a nine to five for? Because <laughs> <laughs> they herself. I mean, shit. That's passion. I mean, my a lady mother, got, mother, a lady's got income, goods, man. She likes nice that, things, I got man. That, I got another stream of income. Look at her hair. You think that shit? Cheap? I mean, that doesn't sound. That's just, you know, something that's entertainment. That's like having a hobby. You know what I'm saying? My nine to five, that's why I went to sit up here and get my degree in, which most people don't even know about. That's something that's totally different. This is a, you know, most people that you deal with, especially in the swingers, we live double lifestyle. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So... It, that's, that's the same thing. This is one of those things that um, I'm here for, um, to try and dispel the myths about um, swingers and who we are and who we're not. Just because mm -hmm. you just made mention of the fact that you wouldn't do it because mm -hmm. you have children that are too young. And where, I, where, and where, where I am in my, in my career right now, mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it. Well, um, no. and, But you know what's so funny? Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people, and I know there's a lot of people in... <laughs> The industry mm -hmm. that do this shit, absolutely. But it's a society. It's a different kind. It's a society. It it's a, a society within that, within our business that does that kind of shit, mm -hmm. and nobody knows because they keep it DL. Right. Yeah. But me and Pegasus mm -hmm. know one person, huh? We know we, we know one person. Oh, we know a couple of people. We know we know about five. We I, we probably could list off about fifteen <laughs> motherfuckers that do a lot of wild <laughs> shit. Well, yeah. I'm I'm making I'm I'm saying that I would like to dispel the myths about who we are, swingers, yeah. is, um, you know, especially black people, because once we get our hands on something, it becomes tainted and dirty and nasty. Yeah. Even though y'all been doing this shit no, all your lives, I, I like to disagree. Once the black people get their hands on it. They become the Tiger Woods of that shit. Exactly. Or the Lewis Hamilton of that shit. I'm just talking about the way we get talked about once we get our hands on something. But we're not talking about what it really is. Because, of course, right. black gold on everything. But it's, yeah, of course, but, they need us. Because it starts off on some unseasoned ch chicken version of the shit. Until but, we come right. in and add the flavor. What, I'm, what, I, what I was starting to say is that um, I understand where you're coming from. Because I, too, belong to uh, a few other things that may cause some... <laughs> issue mm -hmm. if they ever found out what I you know what what I do yep. here and I'm not going to really worry about that too much because I'm a good yeah. mom I'm an awesome friend I'm a great mom I'm an awesome friend mm -hmm. I'm a phenomenal woman but I will suck the soul out of your cock <laughs> listen I will turn your keg oh, into she a said fucking cock. six pack Yo, cancel her man and Yo, cancel no, black no, people no, who no, say no, that no, shit no 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 let let that woman I'm going to say cock because cock? I need to, yes, it's I mean, it's, it's, what, it's whatever, it's whatever, it's, it's, it's universal. It's universal. It's universal. Exactly. Right. Ariana, do you say that shit? Not okay. just that, but most of the people or the women that will talk about a conservative life want to be us. Absolutely. And want to sit up here and, and wish And that is a large that part of the problem. Here. That's yes, a large part of the problem. they be right there. They be right there. And they be the main ones hitting me in my DM. Right. Ariana, teach me how to suck a dick. Hello. Show me how to sit up here and I'm not my even bed. gonna. I'm you not know? even going <laughs> to ostracize or make them, make them um, vilify them because they somehow have sunk into the uh what society is, what society yeah. says you have to do, what they um what they allow you to be. Okay, you know? oh, right. so, so 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 all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I need to put my. You, you, you said, you said, you said, you said, you said that you will. Yeah. You will suck the I soul. Will. All right, and I believe you. And get the soul back. Of course. I believe you. When no, I'm no, I, I, I can see coma. I, I used to years ago. I, I had a, a, a lady friend. We used to call her Fever Lady because she <laughs> would give me head until I had a fever. So <laughs> no, no, no. This is, I got a fever every time. Wow. Here's the thing, though. How are we going to make sure everybody's clean? How we make sure everybody... Listen, and this is one of the things that we that we practice in our, um, in our groups. Even if you come there with your significant other 
any sexual interaction, we we expect for you to use protection. Yeah, we provide. So you gotta the get a condom to get head. We provide. Yeah, yeah we provide. Yeah. The but how that that's against the whole no, damn it's thing? Not. No, it's not. It's well, there listen. Is ways if you're doing that you it can right. Do it. You don't even know. Oh, no, 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 If you're doing it right, you don't even know. This could turn into a whole nother different kind of segment. Uh, th no, thank right. you, thank you, thank you. In the nombre de Jesus Cristo, I rebuke you in, in, in the name And then there's a of, bunch of shit Jesus going Christ, on, man, because no, there might be two girls no, no, giving your head with a condom. It's something I could tell yeah, with this I woman. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, no, no. I got some tricks. It feels just the Hello. same. With, with a condom? Yes, with a condom. Then I guess, I guess I'm within amateur hour. No, it's not even about within amateur hour. Maybe you're counterparts with within Amazon. no that's what i'm saying maybe i'm maybe i'm not yeah, deal, dealing yeah. i'm and, dealing and, with and the minor leagues a lot of times they're not this is all <laughs> cerebral you know you 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 you, you <laughs> understand you got to put a condom on so already uh this is not going to be that great dispel all of the shit that you think so everybody in the swingers place has condoms on for head everything yes of course man and all of the activity because bold, we're dealing with a lot of group of people and, and you're dealing with strangers time. well some yeah. sometimes it's strangers you don't know everyone's status so to make sure that we can ensure that it's safety nothing gets passed around this is the best way to keep everyone safe so and no one has to walk away from the event worrying about anything know and what I mean? there are for those who are um a little bit more daring, you have something called status parties, um, where you bring your you bring your your sexual uh, history. Yes, yes, you have to bring your paperwork, and it needs to be in within a particular time frame. We had and, a we had a group member that had that, but you had the but they had the condoms anyway. Yeah, and you'll still do that. Yeah, they had the condoms anyway. You had yeah. the, they had the status party, but you still was wearing condoms. Yeah, people will do it. I mean. In an instance like that, I'm I'm a lot more comfortable for those because let me just say this. Um, even in the swing of lifestyle, there's still motherfuckers that are coming in and try to fuck with no condom. There's still people in there. So of course, stealth in. In our events, we, we do a Yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying it's a damn shame? Well, it's more than a damn shame. And actually, it's a crime, man, because you're taking away someone's consent. Because what happens is somebody who didn't agree to that, not right. only is it the potential that you're exposing them to something and you're exposing yourself yeah. to something, but you're taking away somebody's right, right. to engage in a sexual act. Because if they didn't tell the you, oh, look, I'm cool with that, we can do this like this, then what you're doing is nefarious. You're not allowing the person mm -hmm. to say, yeah, let's do it. And that taints the sexual right. activity. It really does, because we provide a safe right. space for exploration. Um, a lot of times than not if you're a newbie you don't really you're not really sure about what it is you want to do so sometimes you exactly. want to come here and watch and if you watch an experience nervous. where somebody is doing something that another person didn't okay then that kind of fucks it up that's some wild shit yeah it is do you have a lot of that happen um i don't say a lot but it's not unheard of do y'all have dick police where y'all there's somebody there <laughs> say, wait oh, oh we now have security they know what they right. dick is. security they know what they job. Dick security. Our security is security. a cool dude. You know what I mean? I've been knowing Ant for a minute. You know what I'm saying? We was at the hotel takeover together. So everybody follows the rules because we're in a group. But I will say this, though. I will say, if Ant tells you you got to go, you're going to be like, you right. Yeah. It is time to go. Like, it when you see... He's him, a nice like, guy, but, like, when you see he's twice your size, right. B. Yeah. He's, he got, like, a foot on you, and he's he... He's not playing. Nah, and he and he's <laughs> carrying. It's time to go. It's time to go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're going to go. Not if just he that, you a look, you might say, is, like, you, you talking to me? I ain't yeah. said shit. How many people can be in this thing at one time? It depends on the size of the venue. Um, right about now, you see, what reduced capacity... We had yeah. about, like, we were able to enjoy having, like, 16 people during the height of coronavirus. As the regulations pick up, you can have 50% capacity. Coming so, now. So, yeah. yeah, so now we could you could work towards, a, like, having, like, you can probably get, like, 30 people in there. You know what I'm saying? All right. And it'll be all right. Now, have you had celebrities in there? You asked me this before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Yo, it's yes or no, bro. We've had we've had some notable people. Okay, go ahead. We'll say that. Well, right. I've been to an event where there was, like I said, somebody that you know in your industry was there. Right. And Pegasus knows the person mm. too. I'm, we might bring the person I'm, on the I'm show. Silent. Okay, we're, we're fine. Obviously, they're comfortable with the shit. <laughs> no, everybody ain't comfortable. Some people want their anonymity, honey. They'll come near. Yeah. 
a whole mask. Can, on. can I wear a ski mask? Can I come in there with a fucking ski Sometimes mask? Sometimes that's uh, that's a that's a that's a that's a plus. That that's might a, be. Yeah, that well, might well, be. Well, can I come in? Well, I got to come in there with a mask now. Like, yeah. you don't stop Initially. nothing. But you can can you come in there with a fucking mask on and you know now you just go do your shit. You can. Yeah, you if, could. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a kink. That but is, they might want to see your face. I'm fucked that, that shit. Help. Fuck that <laughs> shit. Help. Not yeah, before, that I'm going in there. You never but, but, had your dick sucked through a ski mask before? It's exhilarating. It's exhilarating. It's like, <laughs> I'm serious. It's like a killer coming to get you off. Uh, uh, uh. It's you know it's that it's it's the cross. You know, listen now, now hold on now, 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 now. All right, listen. I'm just saying. Scoop, let us know on where we can find you and what you got going on before we get up. All right, listen. Every night I do Instagram live, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Um, we talk about this kind of stuff. You guys have been on there twice. Yes. Yeah, we've been on there. Um, um, I, Are we on? I, you should come on this live. Uh, yeah, that would be good. Like, like I, 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 I want to like it would be great because. I have many questions about how what the dynamic of a relationship is like. I don't think that I can handle it, but you know, I, I tackle everything. You know, it's sex, relationships, um, ignorance, uh, uh, sense. It's, it's a bunch of different mm. things, and it's all every night at six p.m. Eastern, three p.m. Pacific. And it's it's just a good talk show. We laugh, we have fun, we talk shit. Uh, I was on Hot ninety seven for fifteen years, and it's like Talk about it. It's it's, it's like a recreation of my oh, yeah, late night show on Hot. So. I know your resume. I yeah. know your so, resume. Thank you. It's like a recreation of my show. He was on also Hot. on MTV. He had a show called Man and Wife. Man, that was a, dope. Yeah, had a, had a, a sexual relationship yeah, show. All right, y'all. My ex wife. So I want to thank you, Scoop, for coming through, man. Thank Appreciate you. you. I gotta I gotta come through. When 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 I don't when I don't have to practice, so I, I, maybe we'll do it. We'll pick a time with with a little later, yeah. so I know I can do the practice and that. And again, people, you know, everybody thinks that with the gun ownership, the guns are scary, man. It's it's only scary when it's in the hands of the wrong people. And usually, the exactly. people who are licensed to have guns, uh, you don't have to worry about them. You you gotta worry about the t people who. Are unlicensed that got fucking guns with serial numbers scratched off and all kinds of wild yeah. shit. And, and honestly, like at the, and honestly, at the end of the day, she joking. The way that the way that the way that the gun goes, the the bullet goes through the barrel, it has a signature anyway. Mm -hmm. They're gonna trace that shit yep. back. Word. yo, it was a pleasure, school. Ariana, I'm looking forward to having you at our event and Naeem, both of y'all, yeah. March 27th. Man, you got to come out listen, and fuck with us Naeem, one day. I, no, what, 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 what I'll do? If I get a hold of Ariana, just, just please, just let me, just let me. So what? What? Hey, hold on now. Wait, hold on. So, so <laughs> or, or, or what day is this, sir? This is March twenty seventh. So on March twenty seventh, you you, come you can expect to eat a pussy on March. All right. Well, All right. Yeah. Well, 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 I'm on Marvin the Rebel, y'all. And I'm Big Pink Pegasus. And you've been watching Tribe Chat. Make sure you guys click the link tree to follow all of our platforms, man. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for letting us into y'all.